In this video, I will show you the moment of inertia of different geometries about its CG. So, first one is a rectangular cross section. I have already derived the formula how to find out moment of inertia of a rectangle about its CG in my previous video. So, in this video, I will just write out the formulas. So, for rectangular cross section, the moment of inertia along x axis and about CG is bhq by 12 and along y axis is about cg and along y axis is hbq by 12 similarly this is for a square cross section the moment of inertia about cg and along x axis is b to the power 4 by 12 and along y axis is b to the power 4 by 12 this is a triangular cross section for a triangular cross section the center of gravity lies at a distance h by 3 from its base at that point the moment of inertia along x axis is bhq by 36 b is the base of the triangle h is the height of the triangle similarly along y axis the moment of inertia is bh by 36 b square minus bc plus c square where c is the distance between the vertex and the uh, lower right corner of the triangle this is the circular cross section the, its diameter is d its center of gravity lies at the middle of its diameter so at that point the moment of inertia along x axis is pi d to the power 4 by 64 similarly along y axis is pi d to the power 4 by 64 this is the moment of inertia for a trapezium for a trapezium the center of gravity lies at a distance the y is the distance between the center of gravity and the base that distance is 2a plus b divided by a plus b into h by 3 a is the smaller side length b is the larger side length and h is the distance between two parallel sides of the trapezium for that point the moment of inertia along x axis is h q into a square plus 4ab plus b square divided by 36 into a plus b this is a semicircular geometry its radius is given as r for that geometry the center of gravity lies at a distance 4r by 3 pi from its base so at that point the moment of inertia along x axis is 0 0.1098 r to the power 4 and along y axis is pi r to the power 4 by 8 so the formula which I have mentioned in the first page all these formulas are very important in the exam they will uh, give you questions to find out the moment of inertia for a composite section so in that case you cannot derive the formula in the exam so you have to remember all these formula because of the time constraint you cannot derive the formula and find out the answers so you have to remember all these formula to solve the questions